Hey what's up it's uh, David here now this is just a quick tutorial video showing you how to connect your SkyQ to a wired uh, reliable connection which is Ethernet uh, so you want to plug an RJ45 cable in the back of your, um, your SkyQ and it's long enough to reach your uh, router to plug into the back or if you've got uh, networks network sockets that we put throughout the house it's even easier but then if you got that then you wouldn't even be watching this video so uh, yeah so as you can see I'm just fed up with unreliable Wi-Fi it just keeps disconnecting I keep getting that message sometimes it drops out it's SkyQ just doesn't really work that well with uh, Wi-Fi for some reason so click, click network setup um, because it's connected to the Wi-Fi you literally have to press reset it won't it's not a smart device where it will recognize that oh I'm connected to uh, a solid uh, cable connection which is very reliable I'll switch that to, from my Wi-Fi um, so yeah literally you gotta go confirm it's another thing though even after it's connected it's reliable for some reason the SkyQ will then talk to the other SkyQs around the house and then basically it will transfer the Wi-Fi information to that to the master box and then you're on Wi-Fi even though you've got a, um, a hardwired uh, network cable in the back which defeats the whole object so I'm going to show you how to also stop that from happening because that's getting really annoying on my part because I haven't uh, set this up uh, fully before so I've been running it for about two weeks and it just keeps giving me that problem. There you go, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Sorry, not Wi-Fi, it's connected to the uh, solid cable. So I'm now going to go over to settings and hold down 0, 0, 0, 1. And then I press select and it should go to the, uh, the secret installer menu. There we go, secret store menu, so that's three zeros and a one with the middle button. Then go down to uh, network. I turn this off. People are like, ah, don't do that. Ah, well, if you need to turn it back on, you can easily do it. So I just, literally, I just don't want that running because that will cause my box connect to the Wi-Fi even though I don't want it to. So now that will stay connected to the cable. It won't automatically switch to uh, Wi-Fi again and then cause me a disruption whereas I am trying to download something and then all of a sudden it loses the connection or I go to the home screen and all of sorry all of this disappears all the graphics here because this is all supplied by the internet so and of course uh, sky store sky cinema as well and sky store uh, unfortunately a wired cable can't fix everything there are still some shortcomings from the actual sky Q box itself please wait yeah Okay. What's going on here? Settings. That makes no sense. It's connected, connected to the internet. What's going on here now? That's working, that's working. Yeah, now it's working. It's, it's literally, there's, there are some huge teething issues with the Sky Q. It's just ridiculous. I mean, it's been out for five years now. Come on, Sky, let's fix all these problems now. I don't remember the Sky Plus HD box being so unreliable. Okay, so obviously the proof in the pudding is when I want to download a film. As you can see here, click watch. Tells me how it's downloaded. If I was connected to Wi-Fi, I'd be waiting a few minutes before I could watch this and now I can play it. 
my opinions because it's security scene. Yeah. I thought that was a pin. There you go. And I can immediately watch it without having to wait. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.